Heat hosting the Bulls, and the Bulls are uh, plus 106 on the money line. The Heat are minus 124. The over-under is fallen to 205, and the Heat are one-and-a-half-point home favorites. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. And I'm sure everyone in the universe knows that Jimmy Butler won't be playing in tomorrow's game. Now, as far as the lineups are concerned, it's supposed to be White, DeSumwu, Caruso, DeRozan, and Vuvacek, Hero, Robinson, Martin, Jovic, and Bam. Lineups have not been confirmed. That's just who's supposed to be there, but we know for sure Jimmy's not going to be there. Head-to-head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The underdog has covered the last two. The underdog is 6-4 and four against the spread. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The over is hitting their last three. The over-under is 5-5, five and five. and whether you got the over-under at 207 or if you got the new over-under at 205, it's 8-2, and two, regardless in their last 10 meetings. They've played each other four times this season and split. The Bulls won the first one, 102-97 in Chicago. Obviously, that game did not go over. Then the Heat won 118-100 with this over-under. It went over. Then the Bulls won 124-116 in Miami. Obviously, another over. And then the Heat won 118-116 in uh, Miami. Another over. Now, in their last handful of games overall, the Bulls are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. They are 6-4 and four against the spread. The over is 6-4, and four, and they've covered their last four games outright. And they've the over has hit in their last five. 232, 256, 239, 247. Beating the Pistons by 22, beating the Wizards by 2, losing by 1 to the Knicks, and then crushing the Hawks by 15. And for the Heat... They're 6-4 in their last 10, 6-3-1 against the spread, and the over is 9-1 in their last 10. The over is hitting their last 3. They are 2-2 two two in their last 4. There was a total of 203, 228, 221, and then 209 points. Losing by 19 to the Mavericks, then back-to-back victories over the Raptors by 22 and by 15, and then losing by 1 to the Heat. I would not be the least bit surprised if the Heat won this game tomorrow, I really wouldn't. But I'm going to lean a little bit more with the Bulls just because they're going to have a little bit more of a healthier roster. And seemingly when Butler doesn't play, the games go over. So the fact that this over-under fell is baffling to me. I'm going to take the Bulls with the money line. I'll take the Bulls getting the points, and I will go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.